Now that you have your design thought of, you need to come up with a template to cut out the pieces of clay. So when we when we make when we start making your template, you're gonna start with drawing the footprint. As you saw earlier, this is the design I'm going to make for my clay project. The inside of this is going to be hollow, and the top will come off. So what we need to figure out is how many sides does this have? So let's think three dimensionally. You have one, two, three that you can't see. You have four, your bottom piece, and five, your top piece. So for a triangle, you have five pieces. Start by drawing your footprint. So when you're measuring out your triangle, start on one edge and try to keep your ruler as straight as possible. This is going to give you trouble. This tells you that you're going somewhat across the page. So I'm going to start in the middle. And I want you to keep your project under six inches. So if you want to make it a little smaller, that's fine. Or a little bigger, that's fine. So here's your zero. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is the center of my footprint. Now since mine's a triangle, I'm going to turn to the side. I'm going to make one line. Then I'm going to come to the edge and look, I have that's two inches up, so I went one, two inches. So I'm going to come two inches down. One, two. I marked it, line it up. There's the footprint. That is going to be the size. This is the bottom of my clay piece. And the top. So now we're onto the walls. When it comes to the walls, you are going to have the same width. We're going to do these two walls first, the outside. Now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and almost six and a half. I'd call it, I'm at this line. So I could kind of mark it with my pencil. And I'm going to bring that down to the bottom of the paper. And I'm going to measure across to that same mark. Then I'm going to move up. Where was I at? It was right there. Move up. It's right there. I'm measuring from zero to the same mark. So when I connect these, I have a straight line. So, since I'm going to have two walls, I'm also going to mark a line over here. This length matches this length. Those are the same this length to this length. That's going to be where our wall goes. So now you have to decide how tall is this going to be. Now maybe you have a big piece of cake. Maybe you're going to make yours four inches high. I am not. I'm going to go at three and a half inches. So I find my three and a half. Mark here. Find my three and a half. Mark there. Connect. This is my bottom and top. This is my side walls. And now I need to make my back wall. So since I already have my height measured, I'm going to just continue. Continue that line except we need to measure it this length. So I have four inches and a quarter. I'm going to come over here, make my line, four inches and a quarter, 
four inches and a quarter. Back wall. I've measured out all my pieces. Time to cut them out. We know that we have a top and a bottom that are the same size. So I'm going to trace another one of these so I don't forget that I have two pieces I need to cut. I have one back wall, so I'm done. And I have two side walls. So I have one cut. I need to, hope that doesn't fit there. Let's go here. Trace my second sidewall. I should have all my pieces. I have the bottom and I have the top. Now, if I take the top off, I have a back wall. I have a sidewall. 